welcome back to another video here in the channel and this is a video i've been i've been thinking about making for a very very long time very very long time we've had a this offseason has been filled with lamar contract saga and just rumors after rumors just a lot of speculation on this entire contract situation and uh, as you might know, Lamar, he's entering his last year of his deal. You know, he, he's taking his fifth-year option. He's going to need a contract after after 2022. So, here we here we come with the speculations. It, it has been he has been harder than ever. It, it has been intense as hell this offseason, really. So, what I want to do in this video, I want to address some of the speculation we've heard this offseason because a lot of them are extremely ridiculous to me and again if you're a Ravens fan you should really cool down and just really ignore these these speculations made by the media just reporters people you don't even know who they are uh but yeah man first off uh Lamar in that contract, you shouldn't you shouldn't be worried. You should not be worried about about that. Okay? Because it has been said by the Ravens and Lamar themselves that things are going well. Lamar came out a few weeks ago and said that he never thinks about leaving the Ravens. He never thought about leaving the Ravens and telling people to stop trying to read his mind straight up stated by lamar just straight up it tells you a lot it, it tells you everything that you should have known already and everything you need to know so that's pretty much it lamar a few weeks back a few weeks before that tweet he he answered a question of the fans saying what happened how would you feel if the Ravens decided to let you go? He said he'd be very, very upset. So that shows again. It, it shows again that Lamar loves here. He loves it here. He loves Baltimore. And he wants to be a Raven for life. Also, you look at the front office. What has been said about the front office first off. Steve Bashotti, a few a few weeks, uh, I think a week ago, yeah, a, a week, you know, a week or two ago, and by the time I'm recording this, he spoke to a small group of reporters at the owners' meeting in Florida, and you know he was he was getting he was again the Lamar contract questions were. You know, we were throwing it at him again. So, again, they said that they're working at Lamar's own pace. Like like Eric DaCosta said a few weeks before in his press, he said he spoke to Lamar about it a few, a few times, and they're working at his pace. So, Bashadi, he confirmed that. He repeated what, what Eric DaCosta said a few weeks before. A few weeks prior. And. He said that. Eric DaCosta can do all the heavy lifting. With the negotiations. Quoting as well. This kid is so obsessed with winning a Super Bowl. That I think deep down. He doesn't think he's worthy. I think he wants to stay. I think he wants to say. Now I deserve to be on top. So. Again, what we see from that statement, Lamar doesn't care about money. He doesn't care about the contract right now. He's working hard. We've seen all the videos on social media. He's working hard on trying to be the best version of himself. Trying to go in, just kick ass in 2022, and potentially win a ring. And also... Uh, when he wins that ring or when he gets that MVP or when he just has some top three quarterback season, he plays like a top three quarterback next year, get that bag. 
because of how the QB market is, is set up. Watson got the he got the bag right here, 46 mil. I think Rogers got 50 mil as well. He got some record record deal, but yeah, he, he got some massive contract. And Lamar could potentially get more than Watson if uh if he goes out there, has some amazing year. So yeah, man. At this point, it looks like you would be like, yeah, okay. It's, you know, everything is set to bed. We, we know Lamar's intention to end the front office. It should be the end of speculations. But, no, it was not. It, it, it didn't stop there. You would be surprised why. But, yeah, man. Uh, but, yeah, he, he then continues to say, I don't talk to Lamar. It's not my role. What are you going to do with a guy who wants to be unique? You don't bro beat him into being a conformist. It's again straightforward. Straightforward here. So again, he does not want to force Lamar into getting an agent. Because again, Lamar's contract situation is very, very unique here. Extremely unique. Because he's working without an agent and he's trying to get a deep he's, he's gonna probably get that deal done without an agent. So again, it's pretty much it's pretty much that. And if you think about it, these speculations make no sense. People can speculate all they want, but it, it's still gonna make no sense. Because if you think about it, why would the Ravens want to get rid of Lamar after all? Baltimore is 37 and 12 the regular season with Lamar at starter. Lamar has the most wins out of any quarterback since week 11 of 2018, tied. Yeah, he's tied with Josh Allen. He's tied with Josh Allen with 37 wins. And then you have three guys ahead of him. And only these and the only three guys that are ahead of him are Aaron Rodgers with 41, Patrick Mahomes with 40, and Tom Brady with 40. So he's tied fourth. And again, he Lamar is a winner. We've we've already seen. And on top of that. He's won an MVP. Won an MVP in 2019. We've shown what he can do. And he ranks 7th all-time in rushing yards among the NFL quarterbacks already at, 24, at 25. He has 10 career 100, 100 plus rushing yards by a quarterback. Only tied with Michael Vick in NFL history. So he's probably going to break that. He's going to be alone first by next season at any point, at any game. So again, you you want to hold on to that. It, it's not I mean, like a guy like Tyler Huntley cannot replace all these achievements already. A guy like Tyler, I, I like I like Huntley. He can be a good backup, but he has not been good he's had one good game and he's had one average game last season and people think he's that he's he can replace Lamar no he can't so again taking into account all these achievements no like 90% of quarterbacks cannot replace that <laughs> you know so you know, Steve Bishotti also said in this uh, in this meeting that without a QB you believe in, life sucks as an NFL owner and as a fan base. That is so true. That is so true. Imagine being a a Seahawks fan right now at this point. You're not sure about who's your. You're not sure about Drew Locke. Like life sucks when you don't have your guy. Like, all you can do is just have, just dream to have some elite QB in, in the draft. But even that, you're not even sure about it. So, it's like, so, it, it again, he's, he's been spot on. As a, as a fan base, we haven't, 
in my lifetime as a fan base, I've not really experienced that. Because since I became a fan of the Ravens at like five years old, at five years old, 2008, Flacco's rookie season. Since that, we've been on multiple runs in the playoffs until winning a Super Bowl. We've had a few rough su- The last few years with, with Flacco haven't been that good. But still, he was the guy. You know, like, we've had only two franchise quarterbacks ever. Literally. And I've been, you know, I, I've been a fan during this span. So, despite having rough years from 2013 to 2017, we knew who our starting quarterback would be coming into every every single one of those seasons. seasons. And it was Joe Flacco. Now you transition to Lamar, you are sure who is going to be our starting quarterback every year. Coming into every year, you know who's going to be our starting quarterback. And it's going to be Lamar. And it has been Lamar. And it has worked out phenomenously. So, yeah. Another quote. We appreciate him. All I know is that the teammates love him. The front office loves him. So it's like, you just keep, you just keep doing you, Lamar, and we'll make it work. Again, confirming that yeah, we want him here. The teammates love him. He's a team player himself. So, again, second subject I want to talk about in this video, right here. The speculation and shit like that. Because it, th- these two are very, very le- linked. The fact that Lamar has a doesn't have an agent and the fact that you have all this speculation. So first off, I'm going to be like, okay, you have nothing to speculate about Lamar. You just make up stuff. You have nothing to report? Make it up. That That's pretty much the media today. So, again, the issue here, what does it have to do with Adam Schefter? Because Adam Schefter has been just acting in such a weird way regarding him. Him, and he, He's not the only one. Him and guys like Jason Lacafora, he's been... He, He's been acting some type of way about this contract situation. So, Adam Schefter. Adam Schefter once said. Once said that if he's Lamar, he would hold out. So, you know, he's saying that he should want to get a deal done before the start of the season Because of the risk of suffering an injury. So that links back again. Oh, injury concerns. Lamar has only had one injury in the NFL. And like one other injury back in college. So he's had two injuries in his football career. And it hasn't even been that major. Again. It's. It's no. Again, man. And. It's and it's very and it's very very weird statement because it's it was pretty clear that Lamar wants to doesn't want to hold out. He doesn't want to hold out. It has been extremely 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 clear that Lamar is betting on himself, and it's pretty much that. It it's pretty much that. It's pretty much all you should know. So why are you even? like entertaining that at all (laughs) it's you're that dumb and it's like you have also tried lying about Lamar too when Lamar was in that interview with that show with a bunch of other people he then said something Lamar never said I think that was LeBron who actually said that. But then Lamar agreed to it. But Lamar never stated it. But then Lamar had to clap back at uh, at Schefter saying, No, it's not what I'm saying. Stop starting stuff. No. Piss off. Uh, I, I don't think he deleted what he did, deleted that tweet, but whatever. It's like... But yeah. 
about the media anything spewed about lamar's contract right now it's false if it's not from lamar or the ravens there is no source available other than lamar himself and the ravens no agent he does not have an agent that simple without an agent a reporter has zero access to a player in most cases the agent or agency is the one who provides the news so as long as anything out there doesn't come out of Lamar's mouth, it's not believable and do not believe it. Even if the person says the Ravens told told me, like, it, it's, again, I'm going back to Jason Lekafora because he's, he once said that Lamar has been ignoring calls, ignoring offers. Why would the Ravens tell you that? Like... Weren't you a reporter from the, for them a few years ago and then they just decided to just remove you completely because you're you're such a, a dickhead? Because you're such a cockbag? Alright, man. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Uh, all we know, as of now, is that, uh, is that EDC and the Ravens are working at Lamar's pace. That is the only thing we know about. That's the only detail. And Lamar made it very, very clear that this is not his focus at this moment. But he wants to get a deal done at, at, at some point. He, he's still going to want to get a deal done, but it's not now. So why is it the end of the world? Piss off with that. I'm going to end this video right here. With, I'm going to end it with a last statement here. Lamar signing with an agent is exactly what I want. It's exactly what I want. It is going to be so satisfying. The media. It's going to be nice and funny that Lamar signs his contract without an agent. And I really want this to happen. It will change a lot. Other players will start doing the same. And like I said last... Like I said before... Without an agent, a player has zero access to a player because in most cases, the agent or agency is the one who provides the news. This would be detrimental to the reporters who cover the league and guys like Schefter would be out of business. But, fuck Schefter. Like, <laughs> you are a scumbag yourself. So, alright. Him being out of business would be probably for the best in this league. It would be for the best in this league. And, you know, he's been he's been upset that Lamar doesn't have an agent. And he kept just... He wasn't the only one, but... You know, yeah. He's been saying a lot of things that make zero, zero, zero sense. He's been reporting stuff that made zero, zero sense about that situation. And again, it's it's really not going to work anymore at, at some point. Especially with Steve Bashotti, the owner of the team, coming out and, and having a clear statement about Lamar's contract. And also EDC, Eric DaCosta, saying, saying the exact same thing. So, you know, Lamar signs his contract, reporters go out of business. Because players will start doing the same. Because, again, players are going to be like, if Lamar did it, if he did it, why wouldn't I do it? Why wouldn't I? And I'm pretty sure the agent gets, you know, he gets some, a little part of the revenue too, of the, of the contract. So, you know, you gain more money as a player. So, why not? Why not? And also... Just because you have an agent doesn't mean it's a good one. For example, Bozeman. Bozeman, he... He got... <laughs> he, he was supposed to get big money. He was supposed to get big money in the market. But then, again, looks like he, under, he, under, he overestimated his value. Didn't find a market that would give him that money. And then he just signed with the Panthers on a one-year deal. On some one-year... 2 million deal 
and he would have gone more on the Ravens. We offered him like 8 mil and he declined. He thought he could get more. Again, it's just Lamar doesn't really need an agent. Let's be real. So I hope you uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's kind of a rant but, you know, uh you can tell me what you think down below in the comments. I hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna do more. I'm gonna do more Ravens content throughout the off season. We're gonna off, of course, have the draft grades and shit like that. But yeah, man. I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Click that button. Comment down below your thoughts. And yeah, boys. See you guys in the next one.